Hi, welcome back to the Newbury Sax School. My name is Simon Curry. I'm going to teach you the notes now to the Pink Panther. This tune, the Pink Panther, is written by Henry Mancini and it is in a particularly harder key for the saxophone. When Henry wrote it, he wasn't considering students when they played it. He had the uh, country's top professionals playing uh, the sessions for the, the movie and for the theme tune. This tune is in C sharp minor for the alto. And it uses a lot of the notes from the C sharp minor scale and the pentatonic. So I'm going to take you through this step by step. The key I've got a choice to do, I can do the higher octave or the lower octave. Now the lower octave is quite complicated with a lot of lower levers for the lower notes. So I've decided to do it for the higher octave so it's easier to play and sounds a lot cooler. If you'd like to like my video and subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on please. Uh, I do these videos for free and I like to get a little bit of income from people watching them for adverts. So here goes, let's go for it. So you've got your C natural, which is the middle finger on its own, and it sounds like this. And then you'd lift it off to the C sharp. And that's how that goes, C to C sharp. Now the next note you've got is a D sharp, which is six fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. The thumb on the back, that's the octave, and your little finger on the top key there. And it sounds. And then you lift off the bottom two note fingers, uh, the little finger and your ring finger. So, putting both together. Okay, so the next two notes uh, four notes actually are exactly the same but faster and that's again so you play it twice so the first time slow and the next one is together okay so now the next two notes are an A natural to a G sharp so it's two fingers with your octave key on and then you've got your three fingers down with your G-sharp there, so that's a G-sharp. And it sounds... So, putting that together... I'll do it slower. Okay, so our next note is a C-sharp to an E. C sharp to an E, no fingers, no octave key, to the E, and that's one, two, three, four, five fingers down, and your octave key on there. And then you've got your G sharp, which is one, two, three, little fingers on with your octave key, and then take that little finger off for your G natural. So all together it sounds. So the next note is a bit of a rundown. So you've got your F sharp with your octave key on. So it's one, two, three, middle one there. Then you add your E key there with your thumb on. And then take your octave key off with the thumb off the octave key and you've got your C sharp then a B which is your one finger there and then back to your C sharp again and that sounds I'll play it slowly there you go so the whole lot sounds like this very slowly OK, 
Okay, so that's your first phrase. So the second phrase starts exactly like the first phrase. C natural to C sharp. Middle finger and open again. And then your D sharp to E. And then it happens again. Then your A to G sharp. And then your E, which is three and two. Then your G sharp. It's all with the thumb on. And you've got your top C sharp, a new note for us, top C sharp. That's with your octave key on. So there's your middle C sharp. And this is your top one with your octave key on. And then you've got your octave, your high C sharp, and you go down to your C natural. And that's the middle finger on there with your octave key on. So that next phrase sounds like this. Okay, so that's the end of your second phrase. Okay, so we do it all again for our next uh, phrase, which is the same as the first phrase. So you C to C sharp, D sharp to E, C to C sharp, D sharp E, A G sharp, C sharp, E G sharp, G natural. And then down that run, F sharp, E, C sharp, B. And then finally, we get our last sexy bit, which is your top C sharp. So that's no fingers with your thumb on. Then one finger for your B. Then your G sharp, one, two, three, little finger on there. Then F sharp, three in the middle. Then three and two. One, two, three for your E. Then your C sharp. No fingers. Then G F sharp. So that's a G natural there. And to F sharp. With your thumb on the octave. And that happens a few four times. And the good thing about that is you tongue the first G and then you slide your finger down quickly. And if you want to be really sexy about it, you can actually be a bit slow with your finger. And then the last phrase, which is E, uh, three and two with your thumb on. C sharp, no fingers. B, one finger. And two C sharps. Okay, well there are your notes and I'm going to demonstrate the whole lot to you very slowly so you get the hang of it. Uh, next you've got the backing track for you to play along to okay i hope you enjoyed it thank you <laughs>